Hi, this is Michaeli from Black Knight, and today I'm going to show you how to set up email using Thunderbird on the Mac. So, start up Thunderbird, and you're probably going to be presented with something like this. You click on the accounts, create a new account, and you get this dialogue, which is asking you for your name and your email address. your password. Okay. Now Mozilla Thunderbird has a very nice little option which is to help you set up your email accounts and it will try to guess a whole load of settings. Unfortunately it doesn't work properly with our mail servers. It just won't work. So what you need to do is you need to go into the manual setup. Now you can choose between POP3 or IMAP. For this I'm just going to do it using POP because that's um, a fairly common configuration for people. So we click, make sure we select POP and then we click into manual setup. Now, server name is not Black Knight Domain .tel. it's going to be mail.blackknight.com and you can check what this is in your control panel if you go in and you go to the email section you'll see up the top the POP3 server, the IMAP server, and the SMTP server. Okay. So in my case, it's going to be mail mail.blackknight.com, and the username is the full email address. Okay. Connection security. We'll just leave that as none for the moment. Authentication message. Just trying to, using the password. Okay. That's the server settings. So that's for your in inbound email, the mail coming into you. And for sending mail, it's tried to create this thing here, which is just wrong, so we'll remove that completely. Now, you can send email out through ourselves, in which case you would use these settings. Server name mail.blackknight.com, port 25, which is the default. Connection security, I think it means that is none. Authentication method, password transmitted insecurely, and username, which is the full email address. Now, some ISPs, some service providers, might block that port, might block port 25. So you might need to change it to an alternate port, which would be like, say, port 587, uh, which probably won't be blocked. But also, you have the option to send email using your ISP. And they might give you something like, you know, mail dot your ISP dot whatever, or SMTP dot your ISP dot whatever. So, you know, if you're having problems sending email, the problem might not be with you or with us. It could be that your ISP is blocking it. Now, here is the newly created account. So, what we can do is we can go to view settings for that account. So the account name is something quite ugly. Let's give that a, a more attractive name. It makes it easier to read. And the reply to is going to be the same. Organization. And you can put an email signature and various other things. Okay, so McKeely test. Go to the inbox. Get mail. Okay, it's not happy. Why is it not happy? don't know. Let's have a look at the settings then. So, server settings, port 143, the default it says is 110, so let's change that. And now let's try it. Let's get mail, and now it's asking us for our password. Okay, let's see, there we go. And here's the emails coming in. Perfect. And if you have any problems with this, just contact our support team. Thank you.